remember when I first walked into a classroom here um, and there were about 15 students and they introduced themselves and I was really surprised to find that they all came from completely different countries. They came from different, very different parts of the world. I was teaching a course on social inequalities along the lines of gender and, and class and some other factors and it was a wonderful situation, it was a wonderful context in which to talk about social inequalities, society, social structure. We're a fairly large department now. We have four MA programs and a PhD program. There's a one-year MA program, which is for applicants who already have some grounding in gender studies or related disciplines. There's a two-year MA program, which has a research track and also an applied track, which involves an internship. The other two MA programs are mobility programs within a consortia of universities in Europe. One of them is an Erasmus Mundus program, it's called GEMMA, and the other is called Matilda, and it's focused on women's and gender history. We do it together with the history department at CEU. As a student in two-year program in critical gender studies, you can choose whether you want to follow a research track or applied gender studies track. I am following the second one because one day I would like to become a gender professional and therefore the advantage of this, this program in particular is that I can combine rigorous analysis of policy classes. I've chosen the research track because I see myself engaging with academics rigorously and for a long period of time as part of my career and the research track provides me that opportunity. The PhD program at Gender Studies is structured in a way that the first year is dedicated to your research project, the detailed development uh, of, of your research and then the second year is the research itself. So then you really have the time to do a longitudinal kind of ethnographic participatory research. And then the third year is dedicated to actually writing the first few chapters of the thesis and also to teaching in one of the classes. I had a really close relationship with my advisor and also have several other professors uh, here at CEU uh, where I always felt supported. I always knew that I could go to my advisor or another professor and just ask questions, email them, um, and just ask them you know, what I needed to ask. It's a beautiful city. There's always something to do. You know, you can just walk on the Danube after class. Uh, you can go and take some drinks and go to the river uh, between classes and just like relax. And then you can also just travel very easily. We really offer an environment that is here to nurture academic debate and to further your knowledge, to deepen your thinking. You'll meet people from lots of different places, different backgrounds, different perspectives. Why I didn't study at CEU? Because I want to critically engage the world. And I think that the Gender Studies program at CEU has allowed me to gain the skills to do so. Gender Studies at CEU is suitable for you in case you don't want to be a passive consumer of knowledge, but you want to be active agent of social change.